Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man. As always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. If I don't do anything more than this, I do this. The purpose of my channel was to help educate young folks and try to help them learn how to play the guitar the right way. Still sitting on the YouTube, watching fingers, following finger placement tabs. If anybody asks you what chord you got up under your hand, you have no idea. You're just following fingers. I'm telling you, that is not the route you want to take. I've been playing guitar since I was, what, 11 years old? Professional at 22. I've play, playing on countless amount of hit records. But it's this video is not about me because my wife told me, and I'm holding, and I'm keeping to my word. This is not about me. This is not about what I have accomplished because I've accomplished a lot. But this is not about me ego tripping and telling you how good I am. This is not about that. This is strictly about helping Young folks get on the path to play any instrument the right way. You know, so with that said, I'm going to say this. From time to time, I do this video, and I think it's important. Uh, and I usually label, I t entitle it something of this nature. Stop watching fingers. Stop dabbling. Go get formal lessons. You know, if you have no idea what you're doing, you don't know what you don't know, you're going to create a lot of bad habits. And by the time you realize you can't do this by yourself, then you enlist the help of others who could have taught you or got you on the right path from day one. And now you got to undo all these bad habits that you've created. That's the reason why I'm not a good piano player, because I took that route, you know. But I've been playing piano as long as I've been playing guitar. I play guitar on a professional level. I don't play piano on a professional level, you know. I still don't know what I'm doing on piano. And I've tried to go back to get formal lessons. I was like, you know what, before I die, let me get this right. I've tried on several occasions and it's just not going to work because I've already created a lot of bad habits. and It's going to be really impossible for me to untrain my brain to stop doing what I've been doing for 30 years on piano and do it the right way. So I just decided to leave it alone because that ship has sailed. But from time to time, I get these videos or these comments. And this is classic of what I'm talking about. Go get lessons. Go pay someone to teach you how to play. Don't take short because it's, cause it's going to show in your plan. You know, anything in life worth having, you got to work for it. You know, you can't take short course. I'm going to jump over here and, and, and eliminate two years of re rehearsing and practicing. And it's going to sound like it and look like it, you know. You know, so uh, from time to time I get this. And I'm going to read this verbatim and I'm going to talk about this because I think every young person needs to hear this and understand why this is not a good idea. Uh, someone just contacted me regarding... Uh, I did a song by the Spinners called It's a Shame. Beautiful song. And Stevie Wonder actually co-wrote that song. And it's one of those songs where the voicing is kind of tricky on it. It's kind of not your standard bar open face chord. You know, and I figured it out how to play it years ago because uh, for years I was like, I don't know what that guy doing. Uh, I can't even match it up. You know, and after a while I was able to match it up. And I put the chords across the screen, which is I, which is what I do in every guitar chord lesson. That's why it's worded guitar chord lesson. Now, when it's just say guitar play along, it's just me playing along. And one might ask, well, why don't the play along have the chords? Because of the riff is almost it's extremely difficult to put the tabulation across the screen as I'm playing, you know. So I leave it alone because it's just some things you can't just give it a name, you know. But this one I gave it a name, and I get this comment quite often. It says, hi, do you have a lesson for how to play the chords and tabs for this? And my response is the, the chords are in, on the screen. They're in they're in the video, you know. And then I get this, which is very typical, unfortunately. Uh, I meant the other video where you show how to play those chords. I can't see the video clearly with your fingers. And it says how to play those chords. If you don't know, if I give you the chords and if you're supposed to be a player and you don't know how to play it, it's time for lessons. I mean, it's just that simple. It's time to go get lessons so you can identify these chords. Like, okay, I know how to play a D major 7 chord. Red on the A or red on the E or red on the D or red on the G, red on the B, red on the E. You know, but you don't have to get that detail. The majority of the chords I play are based on two note chord, two strings. The E string, the heavy one, and the A. Occasionally, you might do a third alternative one to match up the voicing with the record. But for the most part... I could play 4,000 songs, which I've played on my videos collectively on, on my channel, on two channels, 
with just knowing those two, just those two. And that's what I teach you in my lessons, how to play the rhythm guitar, just those two. You can get away with just those two. Every blue moon, if there's one, just like with perhaps, I'm not quite sure about this song, but if there's one song like uh, Munchies for Your Love, it was a major seven chord, uh, I think the word was on the D string. Uh, I'm, I'm listening to them like, okay, it ain't E, it ain't A, so it must be another one. So I figured it out. You know, and when you don't know how to figure it out, if you know the chord, just type in on the internet and you get these cool chord sites where it shows you different inversions of the chord. But, you know, I can't stress more. Stop taking shortcuts. Stop just watching fingers because it ain't about watching fingers. It's about knowing what you're playing, you know, because uh, it's just real simple. If you know how to play, I give you the chords, you play it. You know, you can look at my hand as far as proximity where I am on the neck to determine, OK, he's playing it on the red on the A string because he's up here. He's playing at the red on the E string. He's down here, you know. But my response to this gentleman was this. My friend, if you need to know where fingers go when you already have been given the chords, it's time for formal lessons. You're not going to become a good player by just watching fingers on the Internet. So I sent him a, a link to my my video where I show you guys how to play the rhythm guitar the right way. Take the course. It's only $40. You get the download today if you pay for it and the chart. And, you know, I, I sent him that and his response was this, because after he sent this, he actually deleted the whole conversation. It says, I've seen the other videos where you show how to play the chords. That's what I'm thinking. I don't do the same song twice, you know, I don't, it's not necessary. And I know what he's talking about. Uh, a while back, I was kind of doing a breakdown, you know, and I kind of stopped that because I'm like, I'm not helping doing that, those type of videos, unless you already know how to play. And for some reason, you just don't know what voice and I'm using. But, you know, just put your finger here, put your finger there, kind of a tab thing. I'm like, I don't do that anymore because I realized that was not helping. That was hindering. The old fashioned way been working for centuries. Go get someone to teach you and pay them. And it's just that simple. And still, uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I got a guitar. I'm just going to sit here and watch a guy that's been playing for 30 years, been formally trained, professional, and I'm going to play like him in a couple of months or a year. No, you're not. You know? And I'm just giving you guys the realization. I'm not trying to burst anybody's bubble or be negative. I'm giving you the real. And I'm giving you information and suggestions on how to get there. Like I got there. You know? Because what you're doing now as a beginner, I've been there. All of us who play or seasoned players have been there. So we know what it takes to get you somewhere else to take you where we are at or what, you know, what we do, you know, and it's possible only $40. If you're interested, click on that link down there and get started because I sent him the link. He didn't respond. So I guess he wants to continue to sit on the Internet for years at a time and just dab and watch fingers. It's your prerogative, you know, but again, if you want to do it right, it's a simple, easy, inexpensive way. You know, again, my lesson is only $40, and that's it. There's no recurring price, or I'm going to spoon feed you some more stuff later for more money. $40, and you're done. Now you just got to sit down and work with this for maybe seven months to get some bearing. Now, you're not going to be able to be playing like a professional in six months, but at least you're on the path to becoming a good player, like myself and others that on, on YouTube. So I thought I would post this video because it's really important to get that message across. If I don't do any, if I don't get any other uh, message across in all the videos on my channel, that's the one. In order to play like us, gotta go take lessons. Just that simple. I'm sure I would not be the guitar player I am now if I didn't take formal lessons and the internet was around back in the late 70s. I'm sitting there watching Fingers in 1976, watching some dude that's been playing for years and professional and been trained formally. I think I'm going to play like him solely by just watching him. No, you're not. You're going to waste a whole lot of time and a whole lot of effort, you know. So I'm going to wrap this up, but uh, I just thought, you know, this was a perfect opportunity to post another video like this. Quit watching fingers and get formal lessons. Quit dabbling. Quit getting third, fourth, second hand, fifth hand uh, information, you know. Do it the right way. And that applies for anything in life, not just playing the guitar, but just if you want to be a carpenter, electrician, or you want to start your own business, there's a plan that you that, that someone can help you put together to help you get there. So again, I know we live in an era now where it's the internet, you know, and everybody relies on the internet to get information. The internet is a wonderful thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's incredible, but use it the right way as opposed to hindering yourself. So I'm going to sign off now until next time. Take care and thanks for watching.
if you're interested again, if, you know, and this is, you know, call it what you want. You know, I had one guy, with, oh, lady, you mean stuff promoting yourself. Well, who's going to promote me? You know, YouTube don't pay me to do this. And time is consuming. You know, uh, the time that I spent doing this stuff, I could be somewhere with my buddies in the studio making $200 an hour. And I do that. But, you know, sometimes I want to give back and just help you guys. You know, so this ain't no thing of, oh, you giving more is man $40. No, this is investing $40 in you. You know, look at it that way because that's what it is. It's not that you're giving this man on the internet $40. No, you're giving this man $40 to help you promote or, or promote a better way of playing. You know, but sometimes I have to explain the obvious because you got some people just think that they're self-entitled and your whole world centers around doing what you do for them for free. You know, just, wake up call, dude. Come on now. Never asked another grown ass man for something you ain't willing to pay for. You know, that's what my daddy used to say. And I totally agree. You know, there's nothing wrong with sometimes people ask me for stuff that I can do quickly and for free. I don't have a problem with that. But you got some people that want an hour and a half of your time because that's how long it takes for me to put together these videos with the course cross stream for free. You know, they're special and you can set aside uh, or two hours of your time for these special people and these other people pay. That ain't fair. You know, it's it's just a one one thing, you know, everybody is it, it, this applies to everybody. No one's special, you know, and there's some people that think that they are. I ain't, no, you're not, dude. You're not, you know. Why should I charge this man and give this to you for free when it's the same thing I've done for this man and I charged him? It's not fair to that man, you know. That man is willing to pay for his information and, 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 and things that will help improve his plan. You're not, you know. So, hey, what can I say? Till next time, take care. I do these videos out of love, and this is not me ranting or being negative. You got to just sometimes be honest with people and upfront as far as what to be expecting in life. It's still love. You're coddling them. You know, you're protecting them. And when you're no longer around, uh, they don't have the thick and skin to deal with, with the world because you, you've basically sheltered them away from how some people can be not pleasant or the world is not always a wonderful place to be. You know, but until next time, take care. Thanks for watching.